Hi guys, welcome back to my Bambi Beginners series, where I try to make everything as simplistic as possible for you beginners out there. The last video, I showed you how to do the pattern and sew two mini fitted skirts out of stretch fabric. One had a separate waistband and the other one had a built-in waistband. In this video, I will show you how to make this marigold, sunshine, sunflower goodness of a ruffle wrap skirt. If you didn't watch the last video, then go ahead and watch it now because we are starting with the pattern that we made last week. Let's get started! First, we'll get our pattern that we made in the last video and we bend the center mark from the side seam to the center front. After that middle point is found, we are going to draw a line straight down. And that's it for our pattern. Now we're going to cut out one full pattern piece on fabric. This is just one layer of fabric. This pattern piece will be the back piece. Don't forget to measure from the center front line to the end of the fabric at the top and the bottom to make sure the pattern is even on the horizontal stretch. Now cut out the fabric and don't forget to fold under the built-in waistband because we don't need that. I drew a quarter inch seam allowance to the left side of the center front line and then I folded the pattern on that line. This will be the left under piece of the wrap skirt. However, I think you should do two of the pieces to the yellow line if you don't want a lot of leg to show. You'll see what I mean later. Place the pattern on the right side of the fabric and cut out. Now open up the pattern and fold to the yellow line and place on the right side of the fabric again and cut out. This piece is the front right side of the skirt. The part that will overlap the shorter side. Again, if you don't want upper thigh showing, just cut out two of these pieces instead of getting the shorter piece in the beginning. The waistband is going to be four different pieces because we're going to have the side seams on it. Using the pattern, I marked the measurement of the left front side of the skirt at the top. I made it two and a half inches high and I cut that out. Then I marked the measurement of the back waist and cut that out. When it came to the front right side, I measured the distance and then I added 13 inches. This extra length is for the tight portion of the skirt. Then for the other tight piece, I just cut out another 13 inches with the same 2.5 inches high and our waistband is done. With the right side of the back of the skirt up, we're going to place the shorter front piece on the left hand side with the right side facing down and pin. Then we're going to place a wider front piece on the right side with the right side facing down and pin. Now stitch those sides up. Get the long front side of the waistband and the back waistband and with the right sides facing, we're going to pin together in place. Now get the shorter piece and place it on the other end of the back piece and pin. And we're going to stitch those together too. This is how the skirt looks sewn. Towards the bottom of the skirt, I cut a little curve out, but I feel that like you didn't need to curve the shorter under there because it shows quite a bit of leg. And I don't want anyone's mummies messaging me telling me how I have their girl try walking around with their coochie out. Nope, 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 nope. <coughs> so, I would say to keep this bit straight so as not to be extra scandalous. To determine the length of the ruffle piece, measure from the waistband of the top layer of the skirt all the way around the back hem of the skirt and up the upper layer of the skirt to about an inch where the front overlaps. Mine was 54 inches so I cut two pieces of 27 inches about two inches high for the ruffles. I did two pieces for the bottom ruffle because 54 inches of base and stitches is not ideal. If you pop that stitch at all when you're pulling it for the ruffles then it's over. Back to the machine you go. At the top of each stitch we're going to do a base and stitch about an eighth away from the edge and another base and stitch an eighth away from that stitch. While at the machine, we're going to do a lettuce hem at the bottom edge. To do this, we use our zigzag option on the machine, adjust it so that it's nice and tight and then stretch the fabric as we sew. This is how it should look when you are done. The more you stretch while sewing, the curlier it will be. At this point, I grab the upper thread of the top basin stitch and the upper thread of the stitch below it and I pull to create the ruffle effect. Be gentle while doing this and take your time because it can pop. When this is done, I pinned and stitched one end of the two ruffles together so it's one long piece when attaching to the skirt. After attaching the two pieces together, I begin to pin it to the skirt. When starting out, I taper it off the skirt as shown and then I pin it all around the hem of the skirt, distributing the ruffles evenly as I go.
When that was done, I tuck it to the sewing machine and I stitched it. This is how it looks after it has been sewn. Baseband time! So I pinned the baseband to the top of the skirt by matching up the seams. I went out 3 eighths of an inch on this piece here but you don't need to do that and I'll show you why later. We're going to stitch where we just pinned. With that extra piece left back for the waistband, I taper off one edge. I fold it in half with right sides facing and I pin it closed. Then I take everything to the machine and sew. When that's done, I snip off the edges of the taper point and turn it over to the right side. Back to the baseband. Now we're going to get the raw edge, fold it over a quarter of an inch at the top and then put it over the seam that we just stitched and pinned. We're going to do this all the way to the end. But when we get to this part, we have to fold both raw edges in a quarter of an inch and then match them up and pin. Don't forget to taper this end as well. Now right here, there's a little space between the waistband and the wider front piece of the skirt, which is actually the seam allowance. I seam ripped this bit about a quarter of an inch and folded it inwards and then pinned it back to the waistband. So right here, I'm getting it, I fold it under because that part shouldn't be there. And I scooted it between the waistband and I pinned it. This could be avoided by folding it back before we stitch it to the waistband. I go back to the waistband and take all the pins from the inside and put it to the outside and repin, ensuring that the pins catch the fold on the wrong side. I always do this because I prefer to see the top stitching on the right side to make sure it looks good and it isn't wonky. When stitching, I top stitch very close to the seam. At the shorter end, or the end that doesn't have the tie yet, we fold the edge inwards, pin and top stitch. So right here we fold it inwards about the seam allowance, pin it and top stitch it. This is why I didn't have to extend the baseband out 3 eighths of an inch earlier because we still needed to fold it under to hem it so it wasn't necessary. Remember the extra waistband piece we have? We're going to top stitch the folded end. And this is how it should look. Now get the raw or the open edge of the band and place it on the seam as shown and top stitch it down. At the same time, I'm going to stitch the front piece that I pinned earlier. Invincible. This is how it looks sewn. I fold the band over the stitch and top stitch it down to hide that raw edge. This is how the front piece looks and this is how the band looks. I tried on the skirt to make sure I knew where I wanted my snaps to go. I put it on, I tied it and I decided to put one by the waistband and then I twerked to see how much leg was showing and I put the other snap at the bottom right where you can see right here. And after that I was dancies. I'll try and get the other four skirts up on Tuesday and Thursday. Then some dresses and a zipper tutorial for next week. Just bear with me as I'm making masks and they take a lot of time. Hope you enjoyed this video. You're driving me wild, you're driving me so crazy Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober Got me trying to stay sober Wanted to your love and I'm out here hungover You made me wanna take you to London, Paris Times were cherished, no comparing to you
it ain't fair, it ain't fair that 